dear traders, I'm Anna Kasatkina. You're watching the latest financial calendar on Insta TV. In the early part of the week, financial markets will watch closely the releases of the following economic events. Early Tuesday morning, the Reserve Bank of Australia is set to announce its interest rate decision for October. The benchmark interest rate is seen to be capped at 2.5%. The previous decision of the regulator was the same. Note that the rate has been unchanged since August of 2013. Currently, the Reserve Bank of Australia reckons that stability in interest rates is the most appropriate monetary policy. In addition, interest rates are widely expected to remain at their current low levels until 2016. And if there is a change in monetary policy, the rate is likely to be cut rather than raised. On Tuesday, Germany is also going to unveil its August industrial production data. Most experts say that the country's factory output has declined by 1.7% in the reporting period. In July, Germany's industrial production grew by 1.9% from June amid the forecast of a 0.4% increase. And this was the fastest pace of growth since March of 2012. Annually, an increase in industrial output was 2.5% against the expected growth of 0.6%. Despite instability in many aspects of the world politics and finance, the German industrial sector manages to keep sustainable development, analysts say. On Wednesday, Switzerland will release its September unemployment rate data. A median forecast of economists suggests the indicator will be unchanged at a non-seasonally adjusted level of 3%. In the previous month, the non-seasonally adjusted jobless rate rose to 3% from 2.9. It is also noteworthy that the seasonally adjusted indicator came in at 3.2% in August, in line with experts' anticipations. Moreover, unemployment among the Swiss youth grew to 3.4% in August from 3 in July. In addition, the following reports will be released at the beginning of the week. On Monday, Germany's factory orders data will be out as well as Swiss retail sales and PMI data in Canada. On Tuesday, New Zealand will provide its business confidence data and the Japanese regulator will announce its interest rate decision. The United Kingdom is about to publish its industrial output figures. Meanwhile, Canada will release its building permits data. On Wednesday, New Zealand will disclose its consumer price index numbers and in Japan, current account reading will be released. HSBC will unveil its measure of manufacturing PMI in China. In Canada, housing starts data will be out and the US will release the Fed meeting minutes. And this was the calendar of the latest financial events prepared for you by our InstaForex team. Thank you and goodbye.